to discuss this with us further via Skype. We're joined by political analyst Omar Ismail. Mr. Ismail, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Now, Turkey is already in a sensitive position with the EU to do with various other issues. Will this contribute even more to the polit political discontent? I think it worries uh, the European Union to see that the the fundamental uh, the democratic uh, the, the democracy democratic institute has been uh, all but dismantled bit by bit uh, by Erdogan and his 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 party. It is becoming worrying not only for uh, for for the European but also for the Turks in general and Turkey as well. Uh, Turkey has or always has been a bridge between east, east and west, and it, it is its role in the area now has become questionable, and also has become uh, uh, worrying to leaders, whether it is in Europe or in America. And one cannot uh, ignore uh, the plea from America uh, to uh, to Erdogan to uphold the democratic values of. Uh, freedom of the press. Why do you think it is that Erdogan is targeting the media now? I, I think Erdogan is uh, a worried um, uh, uh, president. He seems to be um, not on top of what's happening around him. And he needs to establish his authority within Turkey. Uh, that's the only way that he could see it. He micromanages things. Uh, he does, uh, you know, we're just going to have to go back to uh, the Ga uh, Gazi Park uh, problems. It, was, it wasn't the municipal uh, uh, authority that decided to uh, develop uh, the park. It was actually uh, Urduan himself at the time when he was uh, a prime minister to develop, it into, to develop the park into uh, a, a mall, a shopping mall. Uh, so that just to indicate in how how he micromanaged uh, things and that actually if it, 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 this can be an indication of a weak person who is unable to delegate uh, as a leader uh, he's unable to trust people around him to deliver whatever it is that uh, the party want to deliver uh, so he, he he has this problem of uh, uh, not being able to delegate uh, always micro micromanaged the small issues. But you're saying, I mean, he's just recently been elected as president. Are you saying that there is a question of his authority being a solid? Uh, I think so, because it, when you look at the uh, numbers of uh, voters who have supported the party, it, the, the, the country is actually in a, in, a, in a state of a split between the, the secular uh, um, belief that... Uh, that Turkey has grown to uh, adopt and believe into, um, uh, and the party that is in, in government at the moment. So they only got 50% of the votes. They haven't really uh, got a majority in, in terms of the... They may have got a majority in the voting, but it, in the popularity, if you actually look at the uh, uh, figures, uh, the party has received, or Erdogan has received, 50% uh, of the support. Um, Omar Ismail, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm afraid that's all we have time for. Omar Ismail, political analyst, thank, thank you, you very much for joining us.